are listening to the Healthy Christian Women Podcast. Brought to you by Fit Plus Faith, the podcast for Christian women to grow healthier in their mind, body, and spirit. Jumpstart your health with your complimentary mind, body, and spirit detox checklist at healthychristianwomen.com slash detox. That's healthychristianwomen.com forward slash detox. Here's your host, Dr. Melody Stevens. Hello and welcome to the Healthy Christian Women Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Melody Stevens, and this is Season 2, Episode 5. Before we get started, I want to share with you a really cool opportunity and something really exciting that's happening in the Fit Plus Faith community. And today and tomorrow, so Tuesday and Wednesday, October 30th and 31st, are your final days if you want to get in and join us in the Fit Plus Faith Lifestyle Membership before the price goes up. As of November 1st, the price is going to go up as we officially launch. But right now we're in the final two days of our pre-launch special. So you can join and lock in for a whole year, only $20 a month. Inside this membership is going to be so many different trainings and courses specifically related to helping you move forward in a healthy mind, body, and spirit in those three categories, as well as an amazing community aspect as well. So if you're interested in that, you know, you want a little bit more help and walking hand in hand on your health journey, being equipped a little bit more then you want to be a part of the fit plus faith lifestyle membership. So only two days to go at our pre-launch special, which is only $20 a month. You can lock that in for a full year. And that is going to be, you can find more information and sign up at fitplusfaith.com forward slash join. But as of November 1st, the price is going to go up to $27 a month. And that will still be our launching special that will go from November 1st until the end of the year. And then after January 1st, it'll be at our regular price, which will be either $37 or $39 a month. So if that already sounds like something you want to be a part of, now is absolutely your time to get involved. So I wanted to make sure that you know that before these last two days go by and you didn't know. So, all right, everybody, let's dive into this morning's devotion. You are going to be joining in and listening to the recording of our live devotion that takes place on the Fit Plus Faith Facebook page. So you will hear me reading from the book, Faith, Fitness, and Food from Dayspring Publishing, as well as responding live to the women who are joining me live, um, answering their questions reading their comments, and just having a wonderful group discussion together. So let's dive in. Good morning, ladies. Hi, this is Dr. Melody with Fit Plus Faith. Happy to be here with you this morning on this lovely Friday morning as we are going to go through day five of our Faith, Fitness, and Food book. Just so wonderful. Uh, We're just wrapping up our first week of going through it. That's what we're up to. We have had a wonderful time. Good morning. Wonderful discussions already. And uh, hey, Jordan, I see that you're here. Great to have you here. Welcome, ladies. As you're hopping in, go ahead and tag or invite someone who you who you know, who you think would love to join us. Go ahead and type their name below or hit the share or invite button. Would love for us to have more and more ladies joining us on these amazing morning devotions, especially with this particular book, because we have 50 different devotions that we're going through here. So we have a a wonderful and long journey over the next few months. And so we want uh, more of our friends to join us. So go ahead and tag, invite, um, and share below. And if you're coming in on the replay, you can still do that as well. I would love to know. I would love to know if you are here live. So definitely say hello, as well as if you are coming in on the replay. So comment below so I can see who's here. I know that Jordan's here this morning. And um, yeah, and then we will get started today, all right? So the past few days, we have been talking about um, all different things related to getting a fresh start was yesterday's, not going on a diet, really talking about lifestyle changes. We talked about procrastination in the very beginning of this week, moving forward right now. What are the things that you need to do right now rather than delaying and waiting? What could that be? And, um, And so... Uh, Today we're going to be talking about our regular appointment with God. Let's go ahead and pray and then we will jump into this morning's devotion. All right. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for uh, the women that are here, those that will be watching on the replay, uh, just giving of their time, wanting to learn more about you, more about your word, um, how you are leading and guiding us. We just thank you so much for those things. And we ask Holy Spirit that you just speak to our hearts this morning as we talk about 
having a regular appointment with you, how important it is that we are carving out time to be with you every day, that we're not putting you as the last resort or as the, the final thing on our to-do list, but that we are prioritizing you above all else. So we just ask Holy Spirit that you speak to our hearts this morning, bring the women that need to hear this message this morning, and we give all of this to you in Jesus' name, amen. We are on day five. This is your regular appointment with God, okay? I wanna make sure that I'm not missing any uh, comments and things too. All right, this is our regular appointment with God, day five. The verse here starts with Isaiah 50, verses four through five. Isaiah 50, verses four through five. It says, morning by morning, he wakens me and opens my understanding to his will. The sovereign Lord has spoken to me and I have listened. That's from the uh, New Living Translation. So beautiful. Morning by morning, he wakens me and opens my understanding to his will. So beautiful. So it says each day of your life has 1,440 minutes and God deserves a few of them. And you deserve the experience of spending a few quiet minutes every morning with him. So if you haven't already done so, establish the habit of spending time with God every day of the week. It's a habit that will change your day and revolutionize your life. When you give the Lord your undivided attention, everything changes, including you. I would love to hear from you, uh, whether you're here live, ladies, um, or on the replay. What is your daily habit with God? Do you have a daily time? And if so, what has that looked like for you? Maybe it's in the morning, maybe it's in the evening, maybe it's sometime in the middle of the day, but do you have a daily habit? I have to admit that my daily time with God does kind of change, um, and I, I want to get into a more regular habit of at this time, always is when I go meet with God, but oftentimes it's different times throughout the day. Uh, but at least it's happening, like that's good news, like at least it is time getting away and spending in Bible study and prayer. Um, and when I get back home, I'm excited to have uh, to create my little prayer closet space uh, that I haven't yet created, so that's going to be wonderful. But creating that daily time, would love to hear from you. Ashley says, I'm looking into becoming an art therapist. That is amazing. I have another friend who does that. That is so wonderful. God has been calling me to this. So I've spent a lot of time on the phone with colleges and just trying to figure out where I go next. I'm also planning out a prayer group here in town. What? That I want to call the Paint Your Prayers. Oh my gosh, Jordan, this is beautiful. Uh, paint Your Prayers. Where did it go? Where we are, um, where we will pray, etc., and paint. Oh, that's so beautiful. So that's what I am gonna be doing this weekend. That sounds absolutely wonderful. I'm super excited for you. I have another friend um, in San Diego that that is her business, is doing um, art therapy ultimately and helping us work through different emotions and different situations in your life and healing through art, through painting, and it's just an incredible ministry that she has. And so I love that. Jordan says, my daily habit with God is waking up and praying and doing a small Bible study. Then I go on a walk with our dog to a special place where I let him run and I have another conversation with God. That is beautiful. That just sounds wonderful. So I love to hear your daily time uh, with God. That is so beautiful. All right, sounds good. So thank you for sharing that. That is just uh, a lot of beautiful things coming up for you. And I love that it's going to be turning into your heart's desire for a prayer group. So that is amazing. Ladies, I'd love to also hear from you. Um, what is your daily appointment time with God? What do you do? What is your habit? Uh, let us know whether you're here live or on the replay. I would love to know what are those things that you're prioritizing and how is that special for you? Uh, so let's see. Your early morning devotion is a perfect time to ask for the Lord's help. If you're striving to eat healthier food, or if you're determined to improve your physical fitness, God can give you the strength you need to accomplish those goals. When you ask, he hears and he will help. So we can bring all of those things to God and we should, we should be bringing all of those things to him. Every new day is a gift from the creator, a gift that allows each of us to say thank you by spending time with him. When we put God first, we are inevitably blessed, no exceptions. 
So let's go into our scriptures for this morning. There's five different scriptures this morning. So take note of these or type them in the comments. First one is Psalm 92, 1. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. Beautiful. Psalm 92, 1. Oh, this is another great one. Psalm 119, verse 105. I love this one. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So beautiful. That's another one that is a song. I love when different songs, uh, when I find the verses that songs have been inspired by. And so, uh, so this one, thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I don't really remember the rest of the song at this moment, but I love that. And so, uh, so yeah, so it's just beautiful when it's like an old hymn, when those old hymns or old songs or old choruses, I love when we can find what the, um, find the inspiration for what verse inspired the song. Love, love, love. So that's that one. So Mark 1, 35. Oh, thank you, Jordan. Uh, Mark uh, 1, 35 says, Early the next morning, while it was still dark, Jesus woke and left the house. He went to a lonely place where he prayed. We can see that many times in the Bible, looking at the example of Jesus. We can see that he gets alone with God, even though he is God, and even though he has that relationship of father and son with God. It's, it's an interesting thing, right? Uh, all human and all God at the same time. But even though he has all of that and he has all of the knowledge of God, his father, he still gets alone to spend time with him and to pray and to hear from him. And so it's just a beautiful example for us. Uh, let's see. Uh, Second Peter 3.18 says, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How are we to do that? Hey, Lois, good morning. How are we to grow in knowledge and grace? It is by spending that one-on-one -on -one time with God. Uh, let's see, Jordan says, Jesus also goes to a mountain to pray. Absolutely. That is why I chose our special place to go and pray daily. That's beautiful. Yeah, so spending time in nature, going to certain places where we know Jesus was. Uh, he went up to the mountains, um, just to quiet places, into gardens, uh, you know, oftentimes down by the shore. So many beautiful places. Uh, for us to just replicate and duplicate and being isn't it amazing how when you are in nature when you take that time away and you go just to be surrounded by nature just to be surrounded by god's creation it just is so special it just speaks to our heart in a different way and just um i don't know just allows us to really appreciate and give thanks to god when we are amazed by the creation all around us so that is just so wonderful that's so beautiful uh, so, and then the last one is Matthew 24, 35 it says heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Beautiful. God is eternal and he wants to give us that. Uh, he gives us eternity, but uh, allowing his eternal words to speak to our hearts. So heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. And isn't that true? The Bible was written over 2000 years ago and even more than that. And, uh, and it still is surviving today and thriving today and um, just spreading all over the world and being available all over the world in all different ways. And so it really truly is amazing. God's word does not come back void. Um, it goes out and it spreads from us and into our lives and into other people. It's just so incredible. Yeah, you can, Jordan. You can hear God so much better when, when we are getting away and when we are spending time in nature. So wonderful. So those were our scriptures this morning. So now let's go into some um, quotes here specifically about our daily devotion, our daily devotion time. Andrew Murray says, let it be your business every day in the secrecy of the inner chamber to meet the holy God. You will be repaid for the trouble it may cost you. The reward will be sure and rich. We want to make it our business every day to go to the secret place, to get alone and to pray. 
uh, let's see, Hudson Taylor says, whatever is your best time in the day, give that to communion with God. Whatever is your best time of the day, give that to your time with God. We, that reminds me kind of of tithing as well. So we give our first fruits, right? We are to tithe our first fruits to God. And so the same with our time, we give our best time to God, our best time to be with him. Billy Graham says, doesn't God deserve the best minutes of your day? There we go. Doesn't he deserve that? He deserves everything. He deserves uh, all of our attention, all of our praise. He deserves it all. So doesn't God deserve the best minutes of your day? Elizabeth George says, begin each day with God. It will change your priorities. And then finally, C.S. Lewis says, relying on God has to begin all over again, every day as if nothing had yet been done. Yes, we talked a few uh, days ago in one of our devotions talking about giving that time over to God and really prioritizing and that every day is a new day for us to be asking him and inviting him into our daily life, into helping us with our routine, helping us with our choices, uh, giving those choices over to him and inviting him and asking him in every day. And so getting into the habit of that, that we need his fresh mercies every morning. We need a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit every day as we move forward. And we will only get that when we are asking for it and earnestly seeking him and praying for it. So I love that these verses, uh, these uh, quotes just reiterate that. Relying on God has to begin all over again, every day, as if nothing had yet been done. It might be, it might just be us, Jordan, Lois, and myself. Uh, we've also got, uh, hey, Amy, good morning. Amy hopping in too. So not as big of a, of a group this morning, but that's okay. That's, that's not what dictates us being together. Uh, but definitely we want to continue to share and to grow and to have more people join us in these morning, weekday morning devotions for sure. But I'm so happy that you ladies are here, that I am able to chat with you and go through this with you. And of course, for the ones on the replay that are going to chime in later on. But, uh, but it's nice because then I'm not just talking just for myself, but but yeah, it's great to have you ladies here this morning. It's, it's okay that it's not as big of a group today. That's not what it's all about. But I love that you guys are here. Yeah, isn't that last quote just so good? Relying on God has to begin all over again every day as if nothing had yet been done. And so now we go into the final part. Hey, Amy, good morning. We go into the final part, our food, fitness, and focus tips for the day. And so our food tip is, what is the serving size on the label? Pay close attention to the serving sizes when you're comparing food labels. Low calories per serving don't do you much good if the serving size is so small that you're bound to eat two or three, you know? So kind of paying attention to those serving sizes and understanding a lot of things, especially processed foods, are going to have multiple servings per package. So we're like, oh, look, it's only 200 calories. We're fine and we eat the whole thing. And then if you look deeper, it's like, oh, there was three servings in there. So I actually just ate 600 calories. They're tricky. They're tricky. So we need to be paying attention to those things. The fitness tip of the day is ask for help every day. As you spend time with God each morning, ask him for strength and wisdom to treat your body with the respect it deserves. If you ask, and keep asking, he will answer. So just like we said before, that every morning we wanna to come to God all over again as if nothing had yet been done, a fresh anointing, a fresh relationship time, then we also want to ask him for fresh wisdom as we move forward in how we treat our body that day, how we move, what we eat, uh, giving our choices over to him. And so, so good. So we wanna be asking every day. Jordan says, yeah, I don't like it when this happens with a drink label. Drink labels especially, yes, especially drink labels. Oh man, it is tricky business and it is hard to stop drinking something halfway through once it's opened and they know this, you know? And so, yeah, I totally get it. Uh, great to see you ladies this morning. Those who are just hopping on, definitely say hello if you haven't yet. And uh, so today's focus, as we get closer to the end here, today's focus is think about the importance of spending time with God every day. Think about the importance of spending time with God every day. That is what 
our daily focus is, is on for today, thinking about the importance of spending time with him, that it is of importance and it should not be of last priority. It should be a first priority. That is what we want. So beautiful. So that's it for this morning, ladies. If you have missed anything yet, then you can go about, go back and when the replay is posted just after we end, then uh, you'll be able to catch anything that you might have missed. But again, this is coming from the new devotion that we're going through called Faith, Fitness and Food. And uh, we are on day five. You don't have to have the book in order to join us. So just join us weekday mornings at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And we'll continue working our way through for the next few months. This book will probably take us closer to the end of the year as we keep moving forward together. Uh, if you want the book, then I can definitely post that link for you. But, um, but you don't have to have it in order to join us. So don't let that stop you. And all the replays, there's a playlist on the Fit Plus Faith page, there's a playlist specifically for the replays that we've done so far. All right. Jordan says, uh, anyone have any recommendations of group prayer books? Oh, that's an interesting question. Group prayer books. I don't exactly know what you may be meaning, but that could be a really great question for um, inside the Healthy Christian Women Facebook group as well. There could be some other ladies that may have resources for that. Uh, for my paint your prayers group, I'm wanting to put together. I see. Yeah. Awesome. I love that idea, Jordan. I would pose that question in the group too, so that more, excuse me, so that more ladies can see it. Thank you, Lois. I appreciate your faithfulness. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I am excited to go be with you and your church as we have our health and hope event there um, in March in Florida. So that's awesome, Lois. I love to see you hopping on. I know you've been so busy this summer traveling all around, so it's great to have you here with us. And so, uh, so there we go. Uh, so I just mentioned we have a health and hope event. It's a one day full day workshop for women that we are doing in Florida uh, at Lois's church that she's helping to put together in the villages area in Florida. And that's coming up in the beginning of March. So for those of you that may want to join us there, that would be so amazing. I know especially we have some other ladies from Florida uh, that I think are wanting to come out to join us there. And we have our Australia Wellness Retreat that is happening next May. We have five spots left available for our Australia Wellness Retreat. It's a luxury, all-inclusive retreat. I'm going to be pampering you and uh, treating wonderfully for your body and nurturing your soul and spending amazing small group quality time together and alone time with God. And it's going to be just a wonderful time. So if you want more information about that, definitely let me know. And that's coming up in May. We have early bird pricing going on now and you only need 50% deposit down to secure your spot. Into our hearts this morning, we thank you for the friendships that are forming. We just thank you for the community that we have here with Fit Plus Faith and all the things that you are doing and inside our Healthy Christian Women group. Uh, we just praise you and thank you, God, that you are so present and active and alive in all of our lives that we can come together to support one another and to point one another back to you, uh, just to be encouraging one another and to be seeing how you are working in each of our lives. It is so amazing. We thank you for all the things that are ahead of us today. We give our day to you, God, as we move forward, understanding the importance to spend time with you, alone time with you every day, praying, putting our requests before you, hearing from you, getting guidance and wisdom from you. May we not put that off as a last resort, but may that become the priority of our life. Thank you so much for everything that you are doing. We pray blessings upon the women that are here, that are in the group and that are coming on the replay. In Jesus name, amen. Amen. All right. Hey, Abigail, what's up, girl? I know you're just joining right at the end, but I'm glad you are here and uh, so great to have you guys here. So, all right, ladies, catch the replay when this is posted in just a minute if you've missed anything from today. And I will see you on Monday back in San Diego. So my background and everything is going to look different. I'll be back in my home. So I'm excited about that. So I will see you on Monday uh, at 8 a.m. Pacific time. I love you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day and see you later. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Healthy Christian Women podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Are you ready to experience breakthrough in your mind, body, and spiritual health? Join us inside the Fit Plus Faith Lifestyle Membership and get started today. Visit fitplusfaith.com forward slash join. That's fitplusfaith.com slash join.
Step into health and wholeness in Jesus' name. Join today.